つる呼び方を彼は私たちのことをどんなふうに呼んでいたかしら The last name. So, full name. Yamanaku, Mina Koto, full name, the Yongatana. Tatayba Nayagi Makoto Dono. Yamanakunga Hagaku, Nagashi, Sulitsuina. Hagaku, Yasuhiro Dono. Oh, shit. Matana Desua, Sono Tokidaki, Stano Namai, the Yongano de Show. Don't talk. <laughs> Don't talk. 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 do no, we do not know Celeste's name, though. We do not know Celeste's name. Imamade Homio Wakastina Celesa. Ika Karima, so come at the Kurito, what I must do, eh? Next one, I got to you and I did a saru. But actually, got Yasuhiro Nanti, don't say me, was in the Wakaga. Do I look like a loser to you? Oh my god, her face is... I just want to have this as a wallpaper. Look at her face! Look at her face! Oh my god! Oh my god, it even zoomed in! Her face! Celeste still won't give up, so then I have to do something to make her accept it. Ebook! Ebook! Student ebook! Student ebook will have all the full name. E handbook! That's a e handbook! E handbook! E handbook! E handbook! He was trying to sell. He wanted to know the killer last name, Yasuhiro. If there's one person have who might have that last name, it would have to be you, Celeste. You wouldn't have told anyone that your real name is. How many times do I have to tell you? My name is. Why is it flipped? How long do you plan to go on pretending? I'm not pretending. It's the truth. And since you have no way of convince me! Oh my god. Alright, alright, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. I don't know what to do. I, know what to do. I do know what to do. Sorry, Celeste, but this is the end for you. There we go. Bam! Show me your e handbook. Oh my goodness. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it off, it will display your name. Always make sure you have the right one. Now, this is not your everyday notebook. It has so many more uses to that. Use for, use for whatever. Yes! Show the e handbook! You gotta show it if you want to prove you're innocent. Wow, 
Oh my goodness. Aw, oh, we have a new subscriber! Everybody, Kidami, roll out! It's Gen S90. Thank you for rejoining Kidami Elite. Kidami, roll out! Thank you, Jen. Nice to see you back being in the Kidami Elite again. We are on the verge of putting Celeste into the trial, I guess. Thank you for your subscription. Thank you for joining Kidami Elite. Gen S90. Oh man. Alright. This poster has nothing to do with it. This crystal ball has nothing to do with it. Oh my god, there's so many. There are so fucking many shit! Is giving something to him. She's like, hey, I have this plan. And... Celeste is giving something to him. I have no idea what, what she's giving it to him. Alright, let's leave at that. She... It looks like she's... She has something instead of giving something let's see what's this in this case how did the killer recruit their accomplice was it a seduction i expected oh shaking a hand with the person It's like, we are working together. And he's like, okay, yes. Alright, act two. Uh, it was 1 a.m. He came. And then... I guess... He's like, oi, oi, I'm here. And like, what, what, what is, what, why did you call me over? And then fell asleep. Put that into a suit. Bam. It's ready with the camera. Take a photo. Act three. It's 6 a.m. now. Seven? No, not seven. What's this? What time was Ataka supposed to head to the equipment room? It was six, not seven. I cannot find six. Where's the six o'clock, man? Why is it seven? Well, let's carry on. And then... Killed him. And it's like, he he he. Used the body... To push it. And then... It's... That's 6 o'clock? How is that a 6 o'clock? It's in the angle. Oh, I see. Alright. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, Act 4. It's like... Celeste is like, look. He's getting killed. Library. Ow, ow, ow. It was Justice Hammer 2. Nurse's office. I'm sorry, guys. Rob, rob, rob. Ah! It was, it was then Justice Hammer 3. 
Oops. And then everyone was like, oh no, what? Okay. So everyone. Oh wait. The justice hammer that was used to kill Taka, what number was it? It was number four. And then... He pushed it... What is this? He for me used something to move uh, Taka's body. This? I'm like, good job. Yay, yay. And then killed him. The weapon the killer used to murder Hifumi. What was it? It's this. Alright, let's see this. Alright, good, good, good. Alright, Nice. Good so far. Alright. It's そこで石丸君は山田君に殺されてしまった。その時使われた凶器がそこで被害者になりすましたんだ。容疑をジャスティスロボに向けるために。1件目の偽装は娯楽室での。Oh shit, is it supposed to be Hammer 1? そこで犯人は。Yeah, there you go. Just the Hammer 1. Okay, never mind. ジャスティスロボの画像を僕らに見せることで。その襲撃事件を僕らに信じ込ませようとしたんだ。そして2件目の偽装。傷ついた山田君とジャスティスロボ。What the heck? 2号を見せつけることで。Oh no, I think this one's wrong. Maybe it needs to be hum Hammer 3 then. I don't know this. There will be this much conversation with those two pictures. Oh, it's okay, two. Okay, okay, alright. I was I was confused a little bit. It's okay, we're good. Yamarakun 
そして山田君の悲鳴を聞いて戻ってきた僕らはそれを発見したんだしかもその時物理準備室では石丸君の死体が発見されてたんだそしてそこで流れた死体発見アナウンスのせいで僕らは山田君が死んだと勘違いしてしまったんだナイス Very good so far. こうして僕らを騙した山田君は保健室が無人となった一瞬の隙をついて保健室から抜け出したんだその後山田君の死体が消えたと知った僕らは慌てて保健室に集まってしまったその隙をつき今度は物理準備室に忍び込んだ山田君はナイス And then he has the key to the art room. And then he locked it. Nice. Okay, let's go to the next one. Oh, that is why there were two bodies. It looked like they moved the body, but that wasn't it. I understand now. It is you, Celeste. Oh my god. Yasuhiro Taeko, that's her name. Yasuhiro Taeko. Yoyaku mitometa ka. Make o senkok sarete agaku hodo. Oshogi wa wa waruku arimasen yo. So. Interesting. Oh my God, Celeste, why, why? Tell us the story. I don't get it. Why did you do it? Oh yeah, I got A. That's awesome. Monokuma-san, それでは始めてくださる Why Why did you do that? いいえ、終わらせてくださるですわね。ふもふも、お待ちかねの投票タイムですね。Why, Celeste? I don't understand. Oh man. Oh my god. Why? It's basically a formality at this point, but once again, you're totally correct. The plague in this time, the true killer who devised the whole stinky scheme was Silas Sudenberg, or more precisely, Taiko Yasuhiro. 
I lost. Well, that sucks. I guess trying to work with someone else was a mistake after all. He for me, ineptitude was beyond all my calculation. So you, so you really did approach Hifumi with this plan? But how did you get him to agree? I, I can't imagine he would have happily agreed to commit murder. <laughs> I'm sure she relied on her specialty lying. <laughs> My specialty? Don't make me laugh. I didn't have to lie to get him to agree. Duh. Then, did you use, you know? <sighs> I knew you would figure it out, Kyoko. You're absolutely right. To get here for me to act as my accomplice, I use her. For everyone who is still left, um, I'll avoid mentioning it by name, but... It was the one thing here for me and Taka were both is super into, so it's the alter ego that she's referring to. Does she mean... Is she talking about the alter ego? What? What, 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 what? what are you talking about? Don't interrupt. We're in the middle of a very important conversation here. I'm totally out of the loop as usual. How sad. Then you're the one that stole it. That's right. And you used it to drag Hifumi into the plan you would come up with. <laughs> right again. Last night after we had our meeting about how it would disappear, I paid Hifumi a little visit. Oh, uh, uh, what are you doing here? I was hoping I could talk to you alone. It is about what was stolen. I know who did it. What? It was Taka. He stole it. What? And I have proof. Would you like to see it? As it turned out, I would found a use for the digital camera. I will take it, you know what, to Taka's room earlier and took picture of it there. I deleted the picture as soon as I would show it to him from me, of course. Girl, so you watch him. But how did he do it? She was supposed to yell if I, if either of us got close to her. <sighs> you are correct, which is why Taka forced me to steal it. <laughs> Please forgive me. He he threatened me. <laughs> uh, he he did. <laughs> he came to my room last night unannounced, and then it's hard for me to even say he abused me. And, and he, he took pictures. He said if I did not do as he asked, he would show them to everyone. So I, I had no choice. That's such a crime. An absolute crime. He, I mean, I knew he would gone a little crazy, but I never imagined he would do. He would go that far. <laughs> it was amazing how completely he bought it. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, express how enjoyable that was. I'm absolutely... I'm about to say something I would never say before in my life. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to fucking kill him. Wait, please, if you go now, you'll be playing right into his hands. Huh? Taka's planning to use her to escape. And he has made you his target. Escape? You don't mean... Taka's going to try to kill you. And also... Uh, and all... So he can s keep her to himself. <laughs> can we allow him continue with these barbaric acts? <laughs> Absolutely not. How could I? She, she. I have to save her. <laughs> then would you like to join with me? It just so happens I have I have come up with a plan. <laughs> oh, it just so happened that she has a plan. That's not risky or suspicious at all. <laughs> I have devised a way to reclaim what he has stolen and escape this dreadful school. <laughs> and with that, it is complete. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> he for me agreed without a second thought. Mm -hmm. The effect that item had on him was remarkable. The power of love, even the love as twisted as that, can be still drive people mad, it would seem. You disgust me. I have another question for you. What's that strange costume he from his creation? Yeah, it was a real pain in the butt too. All I asked him to do was make something to hide the face and general body size. I had no idea he would make something like that, but it's my fault for picking him in the first place. So, why would you decide to make me the suspect? Because you're stupid. That's it? And in that regard, I made the right choice. I'm so glad your stupidi stupidity surpassed my every expectation. Life must have been tough on your parents, though. 
I feel like I could cry. But when you were explaining your plan to Hifumi, how did you explain the part about him pay playing dead? What she's asking is, what was Hifumi supposed to do after that, assuming you had actually let him live? That's simple. After he did his part and pretended to be dead once someone showed up, I told him to say he would he would be seriously wounded. He was on the verge of death, but he just barely held on. And he really believed that? Well, of course. That wasn't all there was to it. As I explained it to Hifumi, the plan was... While you were all questioning him about what had happened to him, I was gonna going to murder someone else. At that point, Hifumi would have an alibi so nobody could doubt him. I told him that and he believed it. <laughs> it all seems very straightforward, stereotypical. <laughs> I just matched the lie to the level of the opponent. In fact, Hifumi ate it up. He believed the lie the wholeheartedly right up until the moment of his death. So you have planned to kill him along. <laughs> but, of course, there would have been no point to my plan if the one who pretended to be dead did not end up dead himself. How can human life mean so little to you? Oh, that's a non-issue. I simply did everything in my power to win. Now you sound like Bakuya. No, he drives his pleasure from the thrill of the hunt. In that aspect, we are nothing alike. Then what made you th take things this far? Was it really just for money? Are you talking about that 10 million dollar money Kuma offered us? That is a lot of money, that is true. But that's not all there is to it. For the moment our new life here begin, my only thought has been escape. But, but all along, you've been saying how we have to accept living here. Obviously, that was a lie. I couldn't take it. I hate it. I hate it from day one. More than anyone, anyone, anyone else in here. I want to get out. Every day was fresh torture. And do you want to know why, huh? Because I had a dream. And accepting a life here would have meant nothing less than giving up on my dream forever. And there was no way that I could ever do that. In the underground world of gambling, I risked my life to make a metaphoric killing. And it was all for that dream. And that was this dream of yours? To live in a European castle. A, a, a castle? Wow. What the fuck? Are they all vampires or some shit? Because it looks like the dude is holding a glass of blood and the dude another dude is smelling her foot for some reason and she is surrounded by vampires i don't understand and together handsome men from all over the world to serve as my butler slash bodyguard i was going to make them dress up like vampires and satisfy my every need the fuck why why dress up as a vampire though? I don't get it. Once I obtained that, I would have created a perfectly aesthetic world of decadence. De Living the rest of my life there was my only dream, my only goal. That's what life is all about. All about living next to, uh, or hiring hot dudes, make them look like vampires, and satisfy her needs. The fuck? <sighs> Combined with my own winnings, Monokuma's 10 million dollars would have made that dream a reality. I got right to the edge, but... Unfortunately, my dream has been scattered to the wind. Still, I don't have any regrets. I pursued my dream till the very end, so why would I? You sound so passionate, but... You're really able to kill your own friend for that? Are you asking me to feel guilty? That's pointless, Endeavor. I think nothing of sacrificing others for my own ends. I feel nothing. That's all there is to me. That's what makes me complete. <laughs> Isn't it terrifying how different our values are? There's simply no room for understanding. That that's what we should be saying. And plus, how can you be so calm? Don't you realize you're about to die? Aren't you scared? <laughs> my ability to lie is unrevealed. Un and I take pride in that. It's not just other people. I can even fool my own emotions. The conscious de deceives the unconscious. Unconscious, sis. And that's why you're not. Oh, that's why you're not. That's why you're not scared. 
That's right. I don't fear death. Kill me ha however you like. <sighs> but you know, if I could be reincarnated, if I had a choice then, I think I'd like to come back as Maria Antonite. You just uh, you would just get executed again. <laughs> Sela smiled then, and when she did, it looked like to me like a poor effort to force it. She claimed that she claimed she could fool her own feelings, but that statement itself must have been her final lie. And that weak fake smile is what betrayed her. You alone. Okay, let's let then let's get rolling. The blackened disturbed the peace and must pay the price. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment for her, the ultimate gambler. Let's give it everything we got. It's punishment time. I guess I'll let Kyoko hold on to this. This. Will it really give you the hope you're looking for? I can say I ever saw it that way. Which is why. Actually, it's not important. Well done. Take care, everyone. Perhaps we'll meet again in another life. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's gonna burn to death? That's horrible life! The burning of the facility witch. No! I think the worst death is by burn to death. Burned to death is one of the worst way to die. No, that is horrible. Oh my gosh! What? What the heck? Oh, the fire truck is gonna hit her. At least she didn't die of... by burning. <laughs> 